It's often said that the best way to make a nice crispy french fry is to twice fry them. Once to cook the potato, and once to get that crispy skin. But, truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of this method. Mainly because it creates a huge greasy mess. So, if I'm not going to twice fry them, how the hell am I going to cook the fries? In the microwave, of course. Now to begin this cooking hack, you're gonna need about two pounds of russet potatoes. Make sure you scrub off the dirt first. And uh, this is optional, but I like to keep the skin on. So chop them up into french fries lengthwise. Since I don't want these to turn brown, place them in a bowl full of cold water. And once you have all the potatoes julienned, give them a nice wash in water to rinse off any excess starch. Then place our fries on some kitchen towels so they can dry off. Now let's pat them dry. Now the conventional thinking behind twice frying is that once to cook the potato and twice to make them crispy. But if we need to cook the potato first, then let's cook the potato first and avoid a good amount of grease. So place our fries on a heat proof tray and microwave them on high for five minutes. Don't want to microwave my GoPro now, do I? Okay, I have here a large bowl where we'll put our fries and a fryer where we will be frying them. And set it to 375 degrees. Did your government's constant ineptitude and corruption cause this? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Take our fries and just gently duck them in. Cook until golden brown and delicious. Okay, these are looking pretty golden brown. Toss them to our bowl here. And uh, let me just throw in the next batch here. And give them a nice toss and sprinkling of kosher salt. And here we are folks, a lovely plate of golden crispy french fries without having to deal with the messiness of twice frying. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meeting it this time.